In my previous two updates, I moved all of my junk into my new studio space here, built a lot of racking, put some LEDs on it, installed some dividers, put up some blinds and blacked out the door. Oh, and I also put together a bit of a window display so my new neighbours would know what I'm all about. There's a link to the whole playlist in the description if you want to get up to speed. As you can see, since then I've been busy on this studio bit, but more on this later on in the video. Because evidently someone out there was listening when I said this in my first update. I've always wanted this setup with an actual proper desk in front of me where I can put stuff and, and show it to you and talk about it, so that's really exciting. Now, the furniture that the landlord had spare wasn't quite going to cut it, because... This desk's quite wobbly, isn't it? I don't know if you spotted that. And that's when I was contacted by FlexiSpot. Now, that's a name that I'm all too familiar with, because a lot of the channels that I watch have been using them for years, and after getting in touch with a few of them and confirming that they were indeed still happy with their desks, I decided to accept FlexiSpot's generous offer of a brand new E7 standing desk, their most popular model for my new studio space. And yes, this is a very rare sponsor spot for one of my videos, because let's face it, you get nothing in this world for free. But if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I don't take sponsorship offers lightly at all. So, in this case, I'm more than happy to point out the very short list of stuff that I'm contractually obliged to tell you about, like how easy it was to put together, the excellent build quality backed by a seven-year warranty, its powerful dual motor system, which is all controlled by this nifty LED panel with four height presets, a memory function, built-in USB charging, which is really handy for the phone that I use in my teleprompter, and a child lock to stop tiny hands fiddling with it. Although, if you did somehow manage to leave it unlocked, the anti-collision system would stop them crushing themselves anyway which is good to know. FlexiSpot also sent me the optional cable tidy, which is also super sturdy and a two minute job to screw to the bottom, and is another thing that's going to be incredibly useful with all of the old machines and things that I'm going to have set up on here in the coming years. Finally, and I will stop rabbiting on about this desk in a second, I promise, this is the absolute ideal time of year to get your hands on one, as FlexiSpot is running the best offers it's had all year over the Black Friday and Cyber Monday weekend, particularly on the new E7 Pro. And on a more personal note, and I know it's a bit cheesy and they've genuinely not asked me to say this bit, I just wanted to thank them for this as it's given me a head start on something that I was going to buy at some point anyway, and it will really help with the professional look and feel that I'm going for with the channel and this new space. So, all the details on the offers are down in the description and if you've been thinking about getting one of these like I have for years, there's never been a better time to take the plunge. And as for all this that you see behind me, well, this is actually some old wood flooring that's been sat in our garage for over 10 years now. The story is that we were having our new kitchen fitted, and the plumber that the kitchen fitters brought in was a bit rubbish, and managed to mess up one of the solder joints on the copper pipe. And of course, it decided to actually pop one evening when we were out, flooding the whole downstairs of the house. Thankfully, they accepted full responsibility and bought some new wood flooring for our lounge. But it turns out that it actually dried out fine. Well, I mean it curled up a bit at the edges, but replacing it was going to be a huge job, so we sat on it until a couple of years ago. Plans changed, we decided to do the whole downstairs of the house with some fancy engineered stuff, and so this was surplus to requirements. Of course, flooring is designed to be laid flat on the floor, and I'm laying it vertically here, with the added challenge that I can't just glue it to the wall, because ultimately I don't own this office and I don't want to do any damage. But I did eventually get there, not helped by the fact it had warped ever so slightly in storage, and hopefully it will only need minor tweaking once it's had some time to settle. It does look fantastic though, if I do say so myself, and it also looks great from the back, which is good on the odd occasion that the landlord's IT business might want to use the neighbouring office for meetings and whatever else. The final piece of the puzzle, as always, is that warm LED lighting, and I've put both this and the window display on smart plugs now so I can switch it all on at the push of a virtual button. Speaking of the window display, I thought it would be fun to put some A6 cards by each machine with info on each one. I actually planned to do this in time for my last update but got sidetracked, so it really does look like a museum now. Although I should reiterate that this is a private studio space and the display is just a bit of fun for now, so I'm not in a position to accept members of the public unfortunately, but you never know what the future might hold. I've also had a good tidy up, got some bits of artwork on the walls, although of course there will be a lot more where they came from, and got my filming gear over here. And that reminds me, 
Last time I ended up having to deflicker all of the footage I recorded in editing, which added quite a lot of overhead. So it's good to finally have my light stand set up and it should give you a feel of what things are going to look like going forward. So now I'm finally in a position to start recording some projects here, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully do some live streams in the very near future over on my second channel and a couple of bits that I want to sort out like curtains over the doors, storage for tools and filming gear and some kind of overhead lighting and camera rig for the workbench. But that's all for this update. Thanks ever so much for your support and of course a particularly big shout out to my supporters who've made all of this and more possible. And thanks to Flexispot for this awesome desk. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The studio updates are going to slow down now and I can finally turn my attention back to the usual content. I can't wait to get stuck in.